The new military institute in Rockbridge County teamed up this past Saturday to give residents a place to take their old electronics. This e-cycling event is part of a Recycle Mania tournament among colleges across America. Last year, VMI recycled more cardboard per capita than any other participating college in the state. The school didn't receive a prize, but according to VMI's sustainability coordinator, Jenny DeHart, winning still has its rewards. It's great recognition for us. Yeah, it's the, the colleges and universities that participate take it very seriously, and it's, it's good uh, you know, publicity, and it really demonstrates that VMI is trying to do the right thing for the environment. DeHart says motivating the community to recycle can be a challenge. She says it's the county's mountain ranges and farmland that make it harder to go green. We have uh, a county that's largely rural and it's sometimes hard to get recyclables to the right place. Even so, the cadet in charge of VMI's recycling club, Ben Sykes, says the imminent closing of the county's landfill may be changing attitudes about recycling in the area. You can see by the attendance today that people are really considering um, that that is a problem and we need to do something about it. While DeHart encourages participation in events like this e-cycling day, she says people should consider a couple of other things before getting rid of their old TVs and VHS players. Number one, trying not to acquire things you don't need. And number two, trying to get the most use out of them, let someone else get use out of them, and then recycling is really the last step. With just over three weeks left in the competition, DeHart says that VMI is ranked in the top 25% of all schools participating in Recycle Mania. She says she hopes VMI will place first in the state. This is Michael McGuire for the Rockbridge Report, Lexington, Virginia.